everybody. Welcome back. Got a little project for today. Um, this guy right here is a tool bag. It's been pretty good to me over the years. Had for quite a while. Uh, probably got this when I was in the Marine Corps. Um, it's an older style. I've seen this now be made not of a cotton canvas, but a uh, like a, a nylon, like a, a Cordura type of cloth. They might just make both of them, I don't know, but uh, this is the one that's, this is the cotton can that's been around for a little while longer. And I don't know if you can tell this, but right here, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, it's trapped inside there. What I think it was, is originally this had a, uh, almost like a cardboard, fiberboard bottom inside of here. And it got wet and it just broke up. So I'm going to open this up, get all this crud out of here, and then sew it back. All right, to start off with, I'm going to open this up. We're going to use our uh, handy dandy seam ripper. Let's see which side looks better. I don't, know, I don't know that either one is particularly... You know what? Hold on. Oh, look at that. We flip it open. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There is a, a line of stitching right there that we can easily observe, and I think kind of pick at just a little bit. Yep, there's one. We can get another one there. Yep, there's one. Is that enough to get it started? Maybe, maybe. There's another one. So we can flip that over. Flip that over now. Oh, and you can see, there's that, that fiber that's just tearing up, or that has been all torn up. All right, cool. Now, I've been using the long side here. I'm going to go over to the short side with a little ball on it. Uh -huh. And that's a little bit deeper. So trying not to get this pointy bit here into the, the cloth around it. As you can tell, I don't do this as much as I should. There we go. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, look at all that down there. All that junk. That's what I want to get out of there. Clean that up with a vacuum cleaner. Mmm. Do I care enough to? I don't actually know that I do. Oh, that's interesting. You just tuck that in there and sew it up. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. My big objection was that it really just made using this awkward. I don't care if there's little bits left in there. Okay, for the next tool we're going to be using, this is called the Speedy Stitcher. There's another variation on this. It's got a little wheel here. I prefer these. It's, uh, pardon me while I do dumb stuff like drop my uh, needles. When you get it, you'll get these. Um, I don't use the curved one very much. Usually I'm using the straight one, but that's me. Um, not sure you can see this on the camera. There is a, there's a tiny little groove right here on the Speedy Stitcher needle. I'm gonna line that up with this groove right here and 
right here, I've got, I've got these three holes, two hold needles. The other one has a notch cut in the side of the wooden body, goes to this essentially a, like a tack almost, a little, um, little tack right there. And then inside of this handle, come here, there's a bobbin. But I dropped the needle again. <sighs> Whatever. All right, there's a bobbin in here, and you have a, it's a waxed, I think it's, is it nylon thread? Or maybe it's, uh, it's some kind of synthetic thread that's, that's very waxed. Um, pardon me while I try to talk and do stuff with my hands at the same time. Mm -hmm. No bueno. All right, now get in there. There we go. And you can do a lot of different stuff with this. You can do leather working. You can do, obviously with this, we're doing on a, uh, a heavy canvas. You can do it on all different kind of cloths. But it's really meant for your heavier stuff. And that's what I like about it. Because to get a uh, to get a, a sewing machine that would do heavy duty fabrics like this, you're, you're looking at a lot of money. This this tool right here puts a little bit of that ability into your hands. For let's see, I paid sixteen bucks. I don't know if you can see that. I paid sixteen bucks for this. Whenever I got it, it's probably a little more expensive now. Let's ballpark it, say twenty bucks. It's a lot of capability for twenty dollars. There is a an inexpensive, made in China version of this. <clears throat> uh, it's sold at Harbor Freight. I've not had good results with that one. We go ahead, pull out. No, I probably pulled out a little too much. About as much as I need. I'm gonna come in here, push that in. Nope. Hold on. As I draw this back, you see that little loop form there? I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pull this waxed thread through. Now I'm going to come back over here. we go. Try to keep this as straight as possible. Do the next hole over. I say the next hole like you actually have a, a pre-made hole here. You don't. So as that pushes through, I can now pull that back. You see that looped form again? Hey, it might help if I actually got it down into the camera. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Let me move forward a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Can you see that loop form again? Right about there. Yep. I'm going to take this, take this wax thread. I'm going to push it through that loop. Pull it back out the other side. So now, what you have is just like a sewing machine, you're going to have these two sides that will hook around each other and then go back out and then move down, come back into the cloth, hook around each other and then go back out and come back in. Uh, it might make more sense if I just do this, but I wanted to kind of just to, to show you how it works. Again, making sure I'm not going to stab myself. I imagine that would be slightly unpleasant.
And what we're trying to do here, is I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me zoom in. <clears throat> All right, there we go. What we're trying to do is have that little, um, I keep wanting to call it a loop, but where these two loops interlock, we want to have that right in the middle between the two pieces of cloth. If you have it too far to one side, and I noticed I, was, I had this in one of my earlier stitches, if you have it too far to one side, you'll notice you get that. It's not great what that's going to be is a little high point that can wear um, as something that braids against this. That's going to be a high point that wears faster than the rest of it, and you're just more likely to get um, that piece right there breaking. I am by far not the most efficient person to ever use one of these, but it does get the job done. All right, I've made it all the way to the end here. I'm sure that uh, this is by far not the prettiest stitching you've ever seen, but it is rather effective. And for doubling up on such a thick material as this uh, wax canvas here, it's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through. Pardon me while I uh, cut off the excess here. Take my uh, my speedy stitcher out. And again, because this is a synthetic thread, in fact, I was wrong. It is, it's not nylon. It is a uh, waxed, oh, hold on, there we go, waxed, uh, wait, no, yes. Well, sorry, uh, camera manning and uh, trying to record at the same time. It's a wax polyester thread. Also, of note, made in the USA. The thread as well as the, uh, it's called a Speedy Stitcher uh, Sewing Awl. This is also made in the US, if you're the type of person that, that matters to. Um, so what I'm gonna do now to finish this off, you know what, let me just do, do it overhand knot here. Which I could just cut and melt. I think that knot's gonna make it just a little more secure. I could be completely wrong about that. There we go. Sorry, that was off camera. There we go. All good as new. Hey, real quick, um, if you want to get one of these of your own, my first recommendation would be to support a local business that carries them. If you're in the lower main area, the two I can uh, tell you that I found two places I can tell you I found these are one is Kittery Trading Post, which is if you can imagine Cabela's, but like a one off locally owned kind of store. That's more or less what Kittery Trading Post is. Um, mostly sells a lot to uh, the tourist crowd coming out from New York and Massachusetts, but they do have useful stuff like this as well. The other place is the local gear. Um, 
off the top of my head, I don't remember what town they're in, but I will, uh, I'll put a link to both of those. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I'll link to Amazon, uh, which would be an affiliate link, so if you want to support me and buy one of these, that'd be pretty cool too. Anyway, on that note, I'm up out of here. Get out there, do cool stuff. Don't be afraid to repair your gear, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other. All right?